So we've seen what's happened with some of these different types of channels, uh, LGBT channels, uh, Liberty channels, news and opinion. Now let's look at some Second Amendment channels. Uh, here's one, MY2K Sapphire. Michael Ye, he's got about 6,600 subscribers, quite a few videos, including this one called Banana Man. It's a cute little film trailer. So let's find out what happens to this channel when we go to restricted mode and turn it on and we save it. He only has a few videos there now. We can try to reload some and uh, get about 10 months down. He had many, many more than this. In fact, 70% of his channel, 61 out of 221 videos are invisible, including the Banana Man, which this is about as graphic as Banana Man gets. This or a friend of his pretending to use bananas as guns. And of course, when you go back and refresh under the restricted mode, it's restricted. I don't understand why, but there you go. It's not just that channel, Tauflader Mouse, they've got quite a bit of videos, including different rounds they've created out of things like uh, doll arms and Lego bullets, <clears throat> things like that. <clears throat> Refresh that one and two videos. In fact, 78% of his channel is restricted, is hidden under restricted mode. So you can try to load some more, but it doesn't work very well. And it's not just guns, the Slingshot channel where he makes different types of ammunition and launches things with launchers and slingshots. He has plenty of videos here, but one of the ones that I found that was restricted was this killing zombies with toilet brushes where he turns them into arrows. You check that one out. And if you refresh it, it's disappeared, which is interesting. 94% of his channel disappears. If you go back and look and refresh it under the restricted mode, most of it's gone. You could look at mbest 11 x refresh that one. 100% restricted. One hundred percent. Moving on to the Yankee Marshall. Let's look at that one. Refresh. One hundred percent restricted. And Demolition Ranch, which is a great interesting channel, blowing up things, etc. One hundred percent. One hundred percent restricted. Now it's not just the subject matter, it's really unclear what qualifies a video or a channel to become restricted. Uh, let's look at this one. Smarter Every Day. Destin has this video where he's talking about knowing the law. Um, he talks about, uh, you know, videos that a guy's taken of trains and how the cops reacted at that time. Um, we can look at it, just see a couple of images of it. There he is in front of the train talking about it. And then he goes on to show what happened in his own town after a hurricane. Um, the cops showing him how to handle particular weaponry. That's as controversial as it gets, but it's restricted. But the interesting thing here is if you go ahead and type in that video title, Smarter Every Day, Eight, Know the Law, and go ahead and, and try to search for that, the video comes up. It's been mirrored somewhere else uh, by another account. So you can see it and nobody has. It's got one view and I think that view was mine. Um, but it's the same video in restricted mode, but it just hasn't been restricted. That's a really interesting feature for YouTube to have here where they've restricted the video from a known channel that was you know monetizing it and, and making income off of it but doesn't catch the smaller ones where there's no advertising or there's little advertising potential for it. Right now, restricted mode is voluntary, but is that going to stay that way? What makes a video restricted? What does a channel have to do to become unrestricted? These are all interesting questions that we should be thinking about and, and 
addressing to YouTube, hoping that they would uh, take this up and answer some of those questions and be a little more transparent. Is it related to the ad pullout? There are so many ads uh, or so many companies that are pulling ads lately, and we're just not sure if that is part of what we're dealing with here. Are we dealing with uh, an ad issue. This is an MSN workaround for some people. Mainstream media doesn't cover everything and these channels do, but look what happens. You could look down this list at these particular channels that we looked at and we put into our spreadsheet and you can see the percent of their channel that's restricted as you go down. I'll just leave this up and let you look at it for a few seconds, but it's something interesting to think about. Will YouTube develop a review process? Will they tell creators what they need to do to remove restrictions from their videos? What topics and what subjects are being restricted? All these things are things that YouTube really should be pressured and pushed to answer for the creator's sake as well as for the own platform's sake.